The Welsh Food and Drink Skills Project has placed an emphasis on identifying future skills needs across the food and drink sector in Wales. One of the recurring themes explored at the recent annual conference in Bilth Wells is the need to develop the training opportunities across the agri-food supply chain, from farmer to retailer, with greater cooperation between all those involved. Nick Davis is an industry specialist in continuous professional development who has worked in various aspects of the sector, from farming to retail. He believes that addressing training needs for farmers is vital to developing a modern and efficient food sector in Wales. If we're going to actually grow you know, the food and drink side of the business to actually hit the aims of the government, we actually have to identify what those gaps are. At the end of the day, the farmers identified and made themselves so much more efficient. They're selecting livestock, which are producing more consistent product into the processor, or they're actually addressing key health issues, which actually affects the fifth quarter. So all of that is a big knock-on effect because it means that the processor then has got a more consistent product coming through. It reduces the amount of batch as they have so when they have their retail customer it's actually you know giving more of a consistent product with provenance quality and um, welfare along the supply chain which ultimately means then if they have less batches it's actually lost less cost to them so actually yes it is a joined up approach in respect of a knock-on effect all the way through the supply chain. Dunbia is a multinational food company specialising in producing beef, pork and lamb products. Alison Harvey is the company's agricultural manager for lamb, based at their facility in Llanabyddar in West Wales. My role is very much about communication between the three parties, so you've got the retailer, the processor and farmer. Over recent months, the company has developed a range of modules where farmers can receive targeted, accredited training with the aim of improving how Dumby and the farmers who supply them work together. I think the biggest change we've had is people's attitude towards uh, accredited training. Um, it's been a huge learning curve for us because we've had to change the way we do our training um, and the way we deal with people, but it's, it's definitely benefited us in the end. We're not going to be able to continue unless people cooperate better together. Um, the way everything has changed over the last few years um, everybody's margins are tighter and we really need to be working together to make it better. A hundred farmers have already received training which is delivered both at the processing facility and on location on farms. Training is given on a range of subjects from lamb stock selection to liver fluke control. Okay, we've got a group of young farmers here today and they're doing a course about liver fluke so it's an accredited course they're doing um, and this is able to count towards things like the yes scheme if they decide to apply. Format of the day is we've got small gadgets like the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire quiz um, and we have a multiple choice question and answer session at the beginning and at the end of the training and then they come and look at the stock and see how they would actually treat the stock in practice. Um, as a processor um, we take a lot of liver in and we have to downgrade an awful lot of liver because it has fluke. It's then class is damaged and we're not able to sell it as fit for human consumption so this is a loss to the industry but it's also a loss in sales because we haven't got enough sometimes to supply our customers. Yeah it's just to sort of bring awareness to it um, maybe people don't really realise how much of a loss it is to the industry because it's money that could be there that isn't at the moment um, and if we can improve it it'll help the farmer and it will help us as well. It's about efficiency but it's also about transparency. Um, the customer expects a really good quality product and they expect that the animal is healthy and expect that it's of high welfare standards. So all of this training brings in all of those different elements. So, um, the Food Skills Programme in Wales is a good programme it's in place now and this is all part of it. So it's bringing in all different parts of the food industry. So you've got the farmer, processor, retailers and all types of producers involved in the same project which is bringing Wales to be a top food producing country.